Hello engineers, welcome to video tutorial to generate vehicular underpass drawing using e-survey structures. Vehicular underpass module of e-survey structure is to create underpass drawings in the required scale with projections. Using this module, you can create a drawing of new underpass and improve existing underpass by retaining existing underpass. To begin working, Create a new file in eSurvey Structure Interface. Open eSurvey Structure Interface. In the File menu, click New. In the window that opens, you can begin to enter prerequisite data. Once you have created a new file, navigate to the main menu, click VUP. In the window that opens, you can begin to enter prerequisite data. To create drawings of new box culverts, or improve existing box culvert drawings, you need to update the following basic settings. Road type Box type Reinforcement details General settings Update road type To define road types, in the inputs group, click the more button next to the road field. In the road defaults window that opens, you need to configure the road details for different road types like to lane, four lane, etc. These include description, median widths, shyness, carriageway details, and paved shoulder details, other shoulder details, and side slope details. Enter the required details and click Save to save different types of road default. The drop down at the bottom of the road type screen will list all the items. To define box types, click the More button next to the box field in the Inputs group. In the Box Details window that opens, you need to configure the basic box details such as thickness of the different slabs, that is, top, bottom, side and haunch details and need of shear key and flexible and floor apron, drain spouts, retaining wall. Enter the required details, select the appropriate options, and click Save to save box details. You can save multiple types of boxes in library. Similarly, you need to create reinforcement details in the VUP Reinforcement Details window library. Configure layers color and font settings. You need not make all these settings for every file you create. Select the default settings option under the tools menu. Update your preferred settings, which are most commonly used in your projects. You can change parameters of approach slab, underpass box, parapet wall, corbel bracket, and others like cross road pavement thickness, road chamber, expansion gap, and soil slope in the VUP underscore settings windows. After making the changes and updating these settings, if you create any new file, these settings will be available in the new file by default. In Layers settings, you can change layer name, scale, color, hatch pattern, line type, and line weight. Create text style with different text height and font settings and apply for heading, dimension, and other text layers as per your requirement. Once you save all the above values as per your requirement in default settings, you can use these values in all similar types of projects. With all this preparation, you can now generate an underpass drawing in just a few steps. Create new VUP First, you need to select the desired road type from road dropdown. Next, select the required box type. Then provide input like FRL, SKU if required, no of cells, chainage, select reinforcement template, cross road level, and print template from the respective dropdown. After providing all these inputs, click on Generate button. If you require reinforcement drawing along with detailed drawing, select the reinforcement template checkbox and its respective template name. Along with the drawing, it will generate the required steel volume report. Now underpass drawing is ready to export. 
Click on the Save Drawing icon in the underpass the drafting window to open the drawing in your CAD editor. How to create drawing in case of existing underpass? First, you need to select the desired road type from the drop-down. Select box type which you want to construct. Then provide input like FRL, skew if required, number of cells, chainage, select reinforcement template. Select design type as existing underpass widening. Enter existing culverts details such as crossroad levels at RHS, right hand side, RHS crossroad level distance from center line, existing width, and click on update button. Then select print template and click on the generate button. Select the checkbox, print template for reinforcement drawings, and click on generate button if you want reinforcement drawing. The software will generate reinforcement steel bar volume and weight report and drawings. To export drawings as a CAD file, click on Save Drawing icon in the toolbar. The program will open the drawing in your CAD editor. To generate multiple new underpass drawings in one go using Bulk Generate. Click on the Bulk Generate button in the Underpass Drafting window. Click on the Template button to open Excel template to enter underpass details. Enter all underpass details as shown in the sample picture below and save the Excel file. Click on the triple dotted button in the Import Excel file group. Then select the Excel file saved in the previous step. Select a folder to store the exported drawings and reports. Once you click on Import, software will show imported data in the grid. You can edit parameters in the grid and then click on Generate button. Now the program will export all drawings and reports in the specified folder as shown below. If you are working in the infrastructure industry, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We regularly add informative videos about infrastructure design and engineering solutions. Road InfraSwit and Water InfraSwit are very popular software solutions for infrastructure engineering. You can also book a free demonstration of the software by visiting www.esurveying.net. You may reach us through email at info at esurveying.net. You can call us on plus 919-449-599709. Or book online demonstration through our website www.esurveying.net.